All right, movie lovers, TV lovers, music lovers, I got a special treat for you today. We are in studio with the Simmons, and uh, I mean, I don't, I don't. I don't know what to talk to you guys about. I, I could talk to you about Run DMC. I could talk to you about Travel Show. We, we could talk about cooking. Yeah. You guys stay Renovation. busy. And, yeah. uh, and, y'all, and y'all stay family friendly. And, and my family appreciates it. That's all family. So let's talk about this new show first, the Travel okay, Shadow okay, Show. Okay, okay, Because I love to travel. Oh, uh, uh, the, the world loves to travel. But we don't always see us traveling around the right, world. Right, so, true. Oh, we, we don't always see families either. So I mean, it's, y'all, y'all taking on a new taking two fastest. Yeah. How how did y'all get involved with this project? And uh... well, you know, I was if I take it all the way back, I was making a show for the Cooking Channel, and I was at the Upfronts. Mm-hmm. And at the Upfronts, um, I found out that the um, Scripps Networks was also um, owners of Travel Channel. So I started speaking to an executive named Ross that was over there, and he. Um, so yeah, let's exchange numbers. We could talk about it. And next thing you know, we came up with this idea of Rev Runs Around the World. Because we're realizing that I've been around the world, but with Run DMC, you get off the tour bus, go on stage, back in the tour bus, and you go to the next town. So my wife would ask me things like, oh, snap, have you been there before? Do you know about this? And I'm like, no, I don't know about that because it's all a blur. Yeah. So we decided to put together um, uh, our family, the ones that are left. The Diggy's basically out the house. Vanessa lives in L.A. JoJo's running around. Um, Angela's nobody's in the house anymore, so it's yeah. not Run's house like it used to be. So we took Russy, who's who's um, on his way out probably sooner or later. Well, we <laughs> still got him in at Miley, who's only eight years old, and we went around the world and um, we got to stop, breathe, and I got to see things like whales. You mm-hmm. know, I got to ride elephants and see camels and all the stuff that you don't see, as you know, an entertainer, uh, rap group. But he yeah. complained the whole time. Because yeah, she was taking me on risky things, and I didn't like, you know, I didn't want to ride a camel, so I didn't ride a camel. But she forced me to ride the elephant, so. I didn't force you, Joey. It was a fun thing. And then Dubai, you know, you <laughs> got to on camels, and then, and then you got. That was amazing. Uh, it's just so much that you have to see and do. When, and when we went to Jamaica a little while ago, she took me to a coffee plantation where we could have just got a cup of coffee from downstairs. At room no, service. it was the best coffee. So it's been. It's you been, understand. It's yeah. been. Yeah. Well, see, you like to travel, so you understand me trying to educate our children as well as ourselves. I could have educated them on a hammock. How do you lay on a hammock correctly? That's that's part of it. <laughs> it's definitely part learning how to relax yeah. overseas and how to explore. So y'all got a good balance. Yeah, we did. Uh, I, uh, I relaxed and I got to do what, you know, she wanted to do. Stop saying a, what she wanted well, to do. Well, I had do. a good time. Thank you. I'm going overseas. I mean, like you said, you was an entertainer. I'm sure Run DMC got called to go overseas Oh, early. many times. I was in when Japan. When you first got that passport and it had to leave the country. Like, what was your first it experience? Was, like here? It was weird going to Japan and seeing everybody with the hats like this on and gold chains and... You know, it was amazing. And going back there years later to see people running around with Run DMC T-shirts, it's like hundred years later. It feels like they're still rocking Run DMC product. Yeah. So it yeah. feels good. And how about you? Well, um, as far as my group. No, you guys talked about your group. <laughs> oh, so much you're traveling with me. Oh, it was fun. It was, you know, also shocking. A lot of the places we went to, they knew. You know who he, who he was, so it's it's amazing. Give us some travel tips. Everybody goes overseas, okay. and you know, you, you have to learn the hard way a lot of times of what not to do. Can you give a a travel tip or two on you overseas. Like, what should some things you should definitely okay. have to do? Well, for me, I want to start with like packing. You leave your clothes on the hanger, all that you want to take, and you just lay one side and fold the um. The hang apart, and then you do the other side, fold, and the hang apart. And then when you get in the hotel, all you have to do is hang everything up. It's already on hangers. And that's like awesome tip. You know it's a good one, ain't it? It's very good. He does it I now. did it this trip. Yep. Very and good. Um, what else? For me, I like to try different foods, but I'm allergic to sesame seeds. And we were in Hong Kong. No, it was in China. And um, Hong Kong, was it Hong Kong? Yeah, Tokyo, Hong Kong, yeah. And so we kept asking them, please, you know, make sure there's no sesame. They said none. So they gave us some dim sum. 
And I told her, you dim some, you lose some. Yeah, I got sick right away. Like, right away, I had to run. Benadryl and all that. So she keeps Benadryl. You got to make sure you have the right medication. Yeah, Yeah. if you're you're allergic to things and all that. Because people are just telling you. It's fine, and, and you're yeah, not. True. And you won't know what you're eating sometimes. And yeah, sometimes and like you. Rusty, he has asthma, especially yeah. when he... So we brought two asthma pumps. We had all the medicines. Yeah. My daughter sure got have... sick. We had antibiotic for her. So you have to come with your little medical pack. Yeah. Yeah, and that was the other thing, like traveling with, with kids, because a lot of people leave the kids at home mm-hmm. for several reasons. But, you know, traveling with kids is a, is a different kind of baggage or, or luggage so and stuff. Like you know, so, so uh, <laughs> has there been been any difficulties like trying to do stuff when, when you have your kids you know well it's been it was it was difficult for me because you know when we're filming all day long and we're making all this stuff Russi always wanted to go to all these different stores and mm-hmm. he wanted to go to Harajuku when he gets to Japan and he wants to go to Harrods when he's in London and all this, you know, turn up and money to be spent. And I was like concerned in Dubai. I was like, why don't they call this place Don't Buy? <laughs> <laughs> Dubai what? I don't want to buy nothing. Dubai or not Dubai? That is the question. Well, he he was doing that in the beginning, but then we started saying, okay, you can use your money. But then Rusty bought his own stuff. Yeah, I you know, he used he it after that. He used his money one time, and it, literally no asking to go to any mall, no nothing. He stopped. He stopped worrying when he was his own money. Yeah, right away it stopped. Some of these book de- destinations, I think, it's premiering with the Bali episode, right? Yeah, oh. Bali. We're doing Bali. No, it premiered this week, with Jamaica, Jamaica and, and uh, Mexico, Mexico City. This week mm-hmm. it's Bali and, and Tokyo. And Tokyo. So talk about Bali. What what, what are the fans? Because because it's gonna monkeys, happen. monkeys, oh monkey my kingdom. Gosh. They were everywhere. And they tried to tell us because I said, "Is it like Rio? You know, do the monkeys really come and try?" And they, the guy said, "No, that's that's not true. But we do have a monkey kingdom. Kingdom, and the monkeys sh- were everywhere. And sure enough, we went to eat. That was not in Bali that they did. They did that in Rio." But they came and grabbed the food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Bali, they were just all over the place, and if you have something in your hand, they will come grab it. Yeah, that was a little scary. But it was very beautiful. When you think very Bali, you think exotic, you think beautiful, you think beautiful. Um, the, the way the river and the, 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 the ocean and the, all the beautiful sights and the, the night times, and it was very, very fly. Mm-hmm. It was right. nice. Uh, did, did y'all get to do any nightlife while y'all was traveling? Like, in, in, yeah, we went dancing in um, Buenos Aires. Oh. I he danced, took me tango dancing. Tango dancing was very nice. I had to get tango shoes. So imagine uh, me in tango shoes Clocks. and Adidas suit. Joey, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> so it was pretty crazy. Man, so the most exciting place that you guys have, have been together, I mean, if you had to rate the top places, the destinations that we'll see on this season. I would say Dubai was the best for me. I had the most fun in Dubai. Um, me too. The weather was right. It wasn't too hot when we got there. Yeah. Um, the, the, um, all the different places that we went to and discovered, and the camels was really fun, to tell the truth. And we went skiing in Dubai, which is weird, but they have so much money out there. They built a ski resort inside of a mall. <laughs> So yeah. and it was a real yeah. ski. It looked like you're outside. It made it look so we beautiful. We were free, like it's penguins real. in Dubai. Penguins, wow. yeah. Me and my that are trained, and they were so amazing. So and Atlantis. Yeah, we stayed at the Atlantis Hotel. Like Atlantis. there's one in the Bahamas. There's one out there too. Yeah, with all the rides and stuff. So it was beautiful. So I know that everybody's gonna, because everybody loved Ron's house. So everybody's gonna love this show. So it's just runs out his house. <laughs> Name this is run run outside of his house. Where, where are some of the destinations that you think you're going to hit on future seasons? After, well, I, after I this don't know. I, you know what? I'm happy to be doing this show because if we keep promoting it, maybe we'll have a season two. So we're just getting started. So far, the ratings are great. We'll see what happens this week well, and weeks if, to come. If we do have another I'm season. I'm ready to go down under Australia. I want to go to Morocco. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's beautiful. But you also... You also staying busy and have a, a cooking show also. We have a cooking show on Travel Channel, which will be premiering in uh-uh, January. Cooking Channel. Cooking Channel, on, and, and it's going to be cook, preparing to come on in January. So we just finished a 
cooking special for Christmas. It was like a um, oh, yeah. it was a Thanksgiving special, holiday special. So now we have the whole season, which will be starting in January twenty seventh. Right? Yeah, January twenty seventh be the premiere date for the cooking show. Rev Run also, Sunday suppers. Yeah, and we also invited friends and family. So as it's well. gonna be very fun. I, I want to get one of those suppers. Yeah, yeah. well, come oh, on over. Yeah, we got food for know. you. You yeah, missed Thanksgiving, time. but we can make you a taco. Stop. Here we go. The what's the What's the Christmas go to meal? Because everybody does the turkey and stuff for Thanksgiving. Is there something? Well, I was that we, we make a um, was the thing we made a big um. Uh, oh, the um ribeye roast. Yeah, we uh, roast. Oh my god. <sighs> and it it's so, so easy to make, and I can't lie. I some I ate so much of that. And then we make our own um stuff. The sauce that goes with the... Uh, oh, my gosh. Horseradish. Yeah, horseradish. That's sauce. easy. To... From scratch. <laughs> All right, let's not talk about this. Really good. <laughs> okay. So many reality shows have had all this drama and bickering, and it's like, it seems like it feeds off of that. Mm. You guys have had a whole different brand of reality with your family. Not that there hasn't been any drama at all, yeah, but right. you guys have kept positive. Like, how... Was that like part of the creative process? Was like we're not gonna no, we try just to trace something naturally, just... we're naturally positive. So and we naturally we work on our marriage and, and our, our family, family every it's day. What we love, and it's like it's our job we to work real. on on our marriage and and it's our ministry. Our family. It's a ministry for mm -hmm. us. I don't own a church. So my church is these shows. You know what you see is what you get. So there's a teaching in every show. Mm. That is so positive, man, and. I so applaud everything you guys are doing. Thank you so like much. Like I said, I saw your my family, family is, they are yeah. watching gorgeous. your house all the time. Oh, and, thank you, thank and you. And I feel comfortable letting them do that as opposed to just, you know, letting anything else watch anything. on TV. Well, so. I appreciate you having us yeah. on the show. Yeah. I appreciate your family watching. I just met your kids. They are cool as can yeah. be. Yeah. I love They're so respectful. Yeah. yeah. Very yeah. respectful. I can feel it coming off of them. Mm -hmm. well, I appreciate that. So... Anything else you guys got come? I mean, you got your hands full with two shows right oh, now. You, know, you have, you have in, the, in the new year coming, you have... With Tyrese, I have a show called It's Not You, It's Men. And that's on Oprah Winfrey Network. And it's <laughs> it going to be um, very interesting, to say the least. I'll get you the date soon, but we... Are you going to be the male uh, um, version it's, it's, of I Fix Your Life? Uh, no, Ayana? it's um, a very married man, a very single man. Me being a very married, Tyrese being a very single. So you'll find your, your groove, ladies, within an understanding of the male mind that's married and the male mind that can't seem to find the right one. So it's a, it's a perfect balance of what you can learn from two men. It's um, definitely geared towards women, but men can watch too. And your, your ministry is very unique. I mean, you got a lot of good, great facets of it, man. So keep producing it because imagery is everything. And those Thank that you. are, you know, producing content have a great responsibility and it seems like you are taken to it. Well, you know, I do the best I can. I'm very grateful for the platform God's given me. All right. Well, that's it. You know where to tune in. You got the travel channel. You got the, the cooking channel. You got Oprah Winfrey Network. And, and we, we do two shows back to back every Wednesday, 10 and 10.30 on, on the travel, travel channel. channel. Be there. And if you still got some take cassettes, you can <laughs> throw in some old Run DMC. I that's mean, you right. got the downloads too, but you know. Yeah. That's right. What's up? This is Rev Run. And this is Justine. And you're watching Black, Black Tree, Tree TV. TV.